Now we need to talk about energy specifically in an inductor. We have yet to specifically define it. We've got a potential difference equals zero is equal to the EMF minus the current times resistance minus L di dt. So looking at the RL circuit again. Now, if we take and we multiply this whole thing times current, we get, actually let me rearrange it just a little. Let's bring the EMF over to one side. EMF equals current times resistance plus the inductance times the derivative of the current as a function of time. If we take and we multiply this whole equation by current, we get current times the EMF is equal to the current squared times resistance plus, bless you, um, so we have L times I times I dt. Did we use the units? We didn't. I brought the EMF over to the other side, so everything came out. Did you have to subtract the EMF? I did, but then there's a negative times the oh. of everything. So if you prefer, I brought these all over to the other side. It doesn't matter. OK. This okay. Current, yes. Is this still for that diagram? Uh, right, so we're just talking about a general RL circuit at the moment. OK. Current times EMF. We've seen this before. Class, it is what? We'll try it again. Current times EMF. Current times potential difference. Power. Current squared times potential or times resistance. Power. Look, power, power. I wonder what this one is. Power. Okay. This, these are all power. This is the rate at which energy is being delivered by the battery. So this is the power delivered by the battery. This is the rate at which energy is being dissipated by the resistor. So this is the power dissipated by the resistor. This is the power for the inductor. This is the power stored in the magnetic field of the inductor. This is the rate at which uh, energy is being stored in the inductor. Power equals du dt, or the derivative of the electric energy, if this is electric power, which these clearly all are. So that is going to be equal to li di dt. Everyone brought one over DT to the party. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I got my cool dude. Yes, it's my experience. Oh my God, <laughs> Take the integral of both sides. We get that the energy stored in an inductor is equal to the integral of Li di. Well, this is going to be from zero to whatever current we're talking about. So the integral of Li, L is just constant, so we have L times I squared over two from zero to I. So the energy stored in an inductor is equal to one half Li squared. The energy stored in the magnetic field of an inductor. Do them that look hard in it. Do you need some time? It's not time yet, sorry. No. 